Do you know how a water softener works? Well, I'm going to show you how right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy. I own Water East Store and Water Store in Midland, and we simplify water filtration to help you make some great decisions for your family. So every water softener consists of two tanks. There's the media tank and there's the brine tank. The brine tank is where the salt's stored. The media tank is the one that does 90% of the work. Now, if you have a one-piece water softener like this uh, Aquamaster here, it, all that means is that the media tank is inside the brine tank. But how they work is exactly the same. So this is the part that's connected to your water. And as the water passes down through the tank, inside the tank there's a whole bunch of media beads. It's about half, a little more than half, about three quarters full of these very small media beads. Kind of look like honeycomb cereal, but are a whole lot small. This is what the media beads look like. And as you can see, they're so round that they even roll like ball bearings. As the water passes over those medias, media beads, the hardness, which is calcium magnesium, sticks to the beads. If you have iron in your water, it'll also stick to those beads. As the water passes down toward the bottom, there's a screen at the bottom and a one inch tube that goes up through the middle. So whenever you run your water, it goes through that cycle and it softens your water continuously. So the valve up on top has a meter built into it that measures how much water you've used. Once you've used up its capacity, it needs to regenerate or clean itself. In most cases, that's usually anywhere from five to seven days, something like that. So when it comes time to clean itself, it goes through five different cycles. The first cycle is it backwashes. So now water goes down through the middle tube, up through the sides, it expands the media from being about two thirds full to totally filling this tank, and it flushes all the debris to the drain. Then, inside here there's water and salt, that makes brine. It sucks the brine from this tank through a small 3 8 inch tube and runs it slowly over those media beads. And what that does, it releases the calcium magnesium so it can go to the drain, but it also recharges those beads, so it'll continue to attract calcium magnesium and soften the water. After it finished that process, it backwashes again to get rid of all the brine, rinses the beads inside here to settle the media back down, puts the right amount of water back in with the salt, so it'll start making brine for the next time it goes through a regeneration cycle and puts it back into service. It does all of that automatically. Typically, they're programmed to do that at 2 a.m., but it can be set for any time you want. A quick water fact, did you know that high-end dishwashers have a built-in water softener? And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the link up here to my water softener playlist. There's lots of information there about water softeners. After you watch those videos, you'll know everything you need to know about making some great decisions about water treatment for your family. And I'll see you there.